With thousands of technical institutions in the country, some of them stand to be a dream destination for many an engineering aspirant. The institution we're featuring today holds the status of being the top fourth national institute of technology in the country through its constant research and academic programs. Welcome to College Suggest. And in this video, let's check out the facts and the performance of the National Institute of Technology, Varangal. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite college details, college comparisons, courses, careers, and a whole lot more. As always, we will only consider the facts that are submitted by the college to the NIRF for the 2019 ranking. We leave the link in the description below. NIT Varangal was established in 1959 and it is the first in the chain of 31 NITs in the country. It is an institute of national importance and fully funded by the Government of India. It's one among the prominent institutions in the country that constantly strives to achieve higher levels of technical excellence. NIT Varangal has shown good improvement in the previous years. However, this year, the rank has been dropped to 26. NIT Varangal has scored 68.19% in teaching, learning and resources. In research and professional practices, the institution has scored 31.77% and has scored 72.49% in graduation outcomes. In outreach and inclusivity, the institute has scored 54.98% and in perception, the institute has scored 32.17%. Total score of this institution is 53.21%. NIT Varangal is located at Hanamakonda, Telangana. The nearest railway station is Varangal, which is 10 kilometers from the institution. The nearest airport is the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport, which is 167 kilometers from the institution. NIT Varangal has a self-contained, beautiful residential campus that spreads over about 248 acres. It is a residential campus with all of the basic facilities for both students and staff to live comfortably. The library supports the teaching and research programs of the institute by providing books on various fields of engineering. The institute has over 1.7 lakh books, back volumes, technical pamphlets, standards, CD-ROMs, video cassettes, e-books and so on. The institute has outstanding residential facilities for all the students admitted to various courses. There are 20 hostel blocks for boys and two for girls. The hostels are equipped with all of the basic amenities and managed by a chief warden and a team of wardens. The Department of Physical Education provides facilities for all of the students and the staff of this institute. It has infrastructural facilities for both outdoor and indoor games. The outdoor games include volleyball, football, cricket, tennis, ball badminton, kabaddi, coco, handball, hockey and basketball. The indoor facilities available are chess, carom, table tennis, weightlifting, and tennis courts. Admission to the undergraduate engineering programs for the candidates from India shall be based on the ranks in the Joint Entrance Examination JEE Main. For PG admissions, candidates with a valid GATE score have to undergo the centralized counseling, which is an online admission process. The institute offers 8 UG and 25 PG programs. The institution has an approved intake of 800 UG seats and 550 PG seats. There are a total of 4,481 engineering students studying here across all the years, out of which 75% are boys and 25% are girls. NIT Varangal is a diverse campus which brings in students from all over the country as well as abroad. This includes 2,079 students from outside of the state, 1,916 students from within the state and 486 students from abroad. Also 492 full-time and 169 part-time students are pursuing their doctoral degrees. Last year, 49 full-time and 15 part-time scholars graduated with a PhD. Last year, the UG graduation dropped but still managed to graduate 91.44% of their students, out of which 9.04% opted for higher studies. 
PG graduation has improved by graduating 90.73% of the students within the minimum stipulated time, among which 11.16% chose to study further. NIT Warangal continues to maintain an above-average graduation percentage in both UG and PG programs. The UG placements have dropped when compared to previous years with a percentage of 90.04. 543 students were placed for a median salary package of 8.37 lakhs per annum. The PG placements have progressed to 61.76% by employing 231 students for a median salary of 7.44 lakhs per annum. The UG placements maintain a good percentage while the PG placements are below average. Students graduating from this institution live up to the expectations of the industries and prove to be better professionals. Some of the companies that hire students from NIT Warangal are Amazon, Accenture, Fidelity, Ford, Infosys, Intel, HP, Uber, Smart Pricks, Tata, Pipro, and the list goes on. The institute has highly qualified faculty with a faculty to student ratio of 1 is to 13. In addition to teaching, they are also involved in research and development activities. NIT Warangal has spent more than 6 crores as capital expenditure and out of this, a huge portion has been spent on their libraries. No amount was spent on engineering workshops or creation of capital assets. As operational expenditure, over 135 crores has been spent and over 62% of this was spent on the salaries of their staff. NIT Warangal also received over 5 crores as sponsored research funding and over 2 crores as consultancy project funding. Spring Spree, a three-day annual cultural festival of this institution, showcases 55-plus events in the fields of art, literature, drama, dance, music, quizzing, photography, and painting. A number of arts and skill-oriented workshops are also held to give a jump start to the enthusiastic participants. In addition to this, the institution actively organizes conferences, seminars, and other research-oriented programs to encourage its students. This clearly shows the dominance of the institution's graduation percentage. However, it has scored a lot less in research and professional practices which have a higher weightage and show need for improvement. The institution constantly works on improving its research and development through various activities. There are also a good number of faculty members who add strength to the institution to make it a better place for technical education and self-development. What other interesting college reviews would you like to see? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and for more information visit collegesuggest.com.